Switch on your brain today. How you can use science and scripture to trigger the God-given power of your mind. Right now on Jewish Voice with Jonathan Burness. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice. I'm Jonathan Burness. Our guest today combines science with scripture and says that science is actually catching up with the Bible. Science is now proving that what you think can change your reality for good or for bad. Here today to help us change the way we think is the author of Switch on Your Brain, Dr. Caroline Leaf. Well, I want to welcome you Thank and you. all of our audience and everyone watching television to our brand new set. I you are it. actually our first guest I'm so honored in our brand new it. set. And we Beautiful. are in Phoenix, even if you, it looks like we're overlooking the whaling wall. So oh. it's really a pleasure to have you. So lovely to be here. Well, I have, I've read the book we're going to talk about today. It's fantastic. Thank you. I've seen some of your interviews uh, on other programs. And I think this is a fascinating topic, actually yep. changing the way you think not needing to go back to your past and dig through, but actually beginning yes. a new life. Yes. You know that ad adage that today is the first day of the rest of yes. your life? I read that book and I thought of that adage right away. So That's inter good. introduce I love yourself to, to those that don't know you, your background. Well, I'm a communication pathologist by profession and I specialized in cognitive neuroscience. So what that means, it's a whole, I did a BSc logopedics and what all that means together is that I studied how people communicate what they what they are saying and what they're doing and then tracking that back to what's going on inside the brain. So basically the science of thinking, the science of thought, that's really been my the, the core of, of what I've spent, I've, I've specialized in. So that took years and I spent year, 25 years running a clinic, clinical practice working with people with all kinds of learning disabilities and issues with traumatic brain injuries, with emotional issues, with um, autism, you name it. Um, people for, suffering from a stroke, heart attack, whatever caused a problem in people's ability to function like they should, then I would track back to thought life and help them to work through those issues. And basically, my research went all around working on how to show people that the mind changes the brain, that the mind is different from the brain. So that's really been my field of research. And I still do research. I'm still busy with setting up clinical trials. With doc I work with various different neurosurgeons and neurologists and endocrinologists and that are, that are believers. And, and we're doing clinical trials showing how the power of the mind can change the brain. Beautiful. So. Now, what, what's unique about you is that for most, science and the Bible are in conflict. For, for many scientists, for many yes. uh, that um, are empirical in their thinking, uh, material in their yes. thinking, you believe that the Bible and science are connected and that science is actually catching up or That's with it. the Bible. That's it. Talk about that. Well, I always find it, Jonathan, I always can't understand why people separate science and scripture because if you think of it, God made everything. We all agree with that. So science is simply a description of the everything. So si that's all science is. It's God. God is giving us science to understand the world that he gave us, to understand how we function as humans. And my branch of science happens to be in the field of mind science and neuroscience. But everything is a science. How, how the plants grow, how, how we do art, how literature, all of it is understanding human nature and the world around us. So science co is it totally intertwined with the word of God. And, and science it's not is, in conflict with the word of not God. Not at all. It, it, it's totally it supports the word of God. It's complementary because God made science to show his glory. So the, the the Bible's got a lot of things that everything is there and science actually kind of plays out the details. You know, God is showing that he talks about his wonderful creation and then we, see, as we start understanding about how, how man functions. You look at the human brain and you see how wonderful his creation. So science is giving us the detail of how it all works. So it's totally intertwined and should never be separated. Your study has led you to uh, believe that there, or, or, or interpret that there is actually a switch in the brain that we can literally turn on, that we can activate, that will enable us to ch change the way we, th we think. And Absolutely. the way we think affects everything. 
Absolutely. Well, my research showed that when you teach someone to think, when you teach someone to use their mind, which is your intellect, your will and your emotions, it causes physical changes inside the brain. So the brain is simply a respondent. It's part of every spirit soul body. Your brain is part of your physical and your brain can't do anything on its own. I mean, if I take your brain out your head now, it's not going to do anything. I won't do that, I promise. But I mean, it's not going to do anything. A brain on a plate out of a person's head, a brain cannot do anything if it's not inside a person's head. So your brain, my brain inside of our heads now, it's, it's, it's working and changing because of the mind. Dispel the idea that the brain actually controls our thinking and our emotions and everything else. Okay, so the brain is not self-emergent, which means that a brain can't do anything if it's not in a person who's alive. Once you're dead and your, your brain becomes dust, it's no longer in it's existence. It's just matter. It's just matter. So your brain is matter, it's part of your physical body. So you, what, what the science, it's very fashionable to, and it has been for a hundred years for us, for scientists to say the brain is, mind is a result of brain activity. So the brain, the little neurons fire and that produces mind. So mind is like this side effect. Meanwhile, if, if you only had the brain without, in a live, without a live person driving the brain, there would be no change. So the firing of the neurons doesn't produce the mind. The mind mind makes the fire neurons fire. It's that way around. So the mind changes the biology. So they separate things. The mind is what we th is our thinking. It's our will. It's our intellect, our will, and our emotions. And as we're thinking and processing and choosing, that's your mind in action, which generates this activity that we see inside the brain. So since the mid-1990s, they've started, and they, they, it was agreed universally, globally, that the neuroplasticity exists, which means neuro means brain, plastic means to change. So your brain can change. As a result of mind action. Let me just summarize. The, the, the brain is simply matter. It's, it's, it's part of our physiology. That's it, yeah. And the mind can actually, sh actually shapes and can reshape the way the brain, your brain works. You've got it perfectly. That's exactly. You see, you control your biology. Your biology doesn't control you. So we're not victims of our biology. We're victims over and above our biology. I, th I think this, is, this really should be, people need to be listening very carefully closely because you're saying that you can actually change everything. You can you change can, your You brain. can change your whole life. You're not a victim. This, this, no. this, the implication of this is that it does away with the victim mentality. Totally. I'm, I'm the result of my DNA and my programming and my upbringing and I just have to do the best I can with that. You're saying no. That's wrong, and that's that's not even correct science. I mean, it's actually been a very dominant theory. It's called genetic determinism. So like we determine by our genes. So our genes determine everything. So when, as soon as you hear the word gene, we kind of, people worship it literally, like man has always tried to worship something from wooden idols to to genes to now currently the brain. But you're not, uh, genes are also not self-emergent. They are waiting to be switched on. They have to be switched on. So what switches your genes? on is your mind. Your mind is the switch that switches your genes on. When your genes express, things change inside your brain because the change comes from the expression of the genes. So our thinking is changing the biology because it's actually impacting the, de the DNA and on which you find your gene code. So they're waiting to be, act like you have to switch a light on, like you have to switch your computer I on. I love this because it's the adage again, we, we, uh, we believe it when we see it. Exactly. When faith is we believe it and then we see it, and you're saying you believe it, and there's actually a change in the physical. There the is way the brain yeah. operates or uh, changes. Well, if you take exactly what you're saying is correct. It's changing as you're thinking. So right now, you're not the same as you were a few moments ago because you are, you're now having, you've got new information added. So at speeds of 10 to the 27, you've taken my words, and you have caused genetic expression, and you've built little tree-like structures in your brain that look like plants inside your brain to hold the words that I'm telling you. So you've literally, and that was because of expression of your genes. So that means that through our choices, we direct and recreate and redesign and re how we reconceptualize things. We redesign the landscape of it's, our this brain. This is very exciting. We have to take a break. When we come back, we want to talk about how, how to apply that, how to actually switch on your brain. Much more with Dr. Caroline Leaf when we come back. Are you one of the millions of people who struggle with anxiety, weight gain, negative thoughts, high blood pressure? Now relief can be yours. Thanks to Dr. Caroline Leaf's groundbreaking book, Switch on Your Brain. 
Leaf is a renowned doctor whose research into neuroscience uncovered a secret that can lead you to live a happier, healthy life. You control your biology. Your biology doesn't control you. Toxic thoughts can make you sick, but Switch on Your Brain will help you turn off those harmful thoughts today. The easy-to-follow 21-day plan guides you on a path to better living by combining science and scripture. Learn how to harness the power God put inside your brain and activate your body's own natural chemicals and hormones to renew your vim and vigor. God wants you to get your health back. Order Switch on Your Brain today. And when you do, we'll sow a special gift into your life, confessing the Hebrew scriptures. The Lord is Peace by Rabbi Jonathan Bernison. This book combines powerful peace scriptures and serene photographs to put you into a deep and restful place with God. Each scripture is written in English, Hebrew, and the transliteration from Hebrew. A CD including scriptures spoken in Hebrew enables you to learn correct pronunciation so you can confess the scriptures in Hebrew yourself. We will send you these two gifts for your donation of $40 or more. But your donation doesn't just get you two great resources to improve your life. Your donation enables Jewish Voice Ministries to help Jewish people in need around the world, like these Holocaust survivors in Israel and needy Jewish communities in Africa. Your donation helps us provide crucial medical, dental, and eye care to Jewish communities worldwide who suffer from poverty, disease, and despair. And most importantly, when you support Jewish Voice Ministries, you play an important role in fulfilling scripture, telling the Jewish people that their Messiah has come. Our outreaches to Jews in Argentina and the Ukraine have attracted thousands of Jews and their neighbors who heard the gospel for the very first time. They learned that Jesus is the Messiah their Hebrew ancestors had foretold in scripture because you gave. But there is so much more to do. Won't you help us? Remember, God said he will bless those who bless the Jewish people. Your gift of any amount will bless the Jewish people, but your gift of $40 or more will provide two great resources that can bless you, mind and body. Call the number on your screen now to partner with Jewish Voice. You can also click or write with your gift of support by going to our website, jvmi.tv, or writing to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. Please specify offer 1326 when giving $40 or more to receive your gifts. Call, click, or write today. Welcome back. My guest is Caroline Leaf, and uh, we're talking about uh, switching on your brain. This is a book that's been out for a while, but it, it's awesome. I read it. You can see my notes here. I, I, was, I was really fascinated with it. And uh, you're a neurobiologist. Co- cognitive neuroscientist. Cognitive neuroscientist. Yes. You study the, how the brain works. Yes. And have determined that the mind and the brain are completely different, right? That the That's mind it. actually controls the brain. Yeah. Help us again. I want to go back to this. What is the mind? I understand what the brain is. Okay, so the mind is, is also, is, if you think of us being spirit, soul, body, which is the triune nature of man. Your spirit is your highest part of you, then you've got your soul, which is in the middle, then you've got your physical body. So your soul is your mind. Your soul is your mind, and it's your ability to intellectualize, your ability to feel, and your ability to choose. So when we see, if you look inside a person who's alive, then you'll basically what you will see is when they're thinking, um, with various different brain technology, you'll see a lot of action in the brain. So you'll see firing, glucose metabolism, action in neurons, and it's and there's also down to the level of quantum action. So it's very fast because the thought that you're thinking right now is impacting every single one of the cells of your entire body, and you have around 75 to 100 trillion cells in your body. As we think, in every instant that we're thinking, we're changing the environment of our cells of our body. So our mind is incredibly powerful, which goes to the scriptures, which says that we have a love power and a sound mind. To get a handle on what it is, from a scientific point of view, the mind can be seen inside the brain as when people are thinking, we see firing up. We see, as I mentioned, firing of neurons. You see, So you see electrical activity. You see glucose metabolism. We now understand with quantum physics that there's quantum action, which is much faster 
than, than electromagnetics because that's too slow to explain the brain firing. So if you look at the vibrations, how the, how the brain can communicate, how in an instant one thought can impact the entire body. So that's from a scientific perspective. From a spiritual perspective, as I mentioned, we try in being spirits or body. And if you think of like Luke 16, where the rich man and the poor man, and we know the whole story, and the rich man died, and the poor man died, and they went, to, uh, the rich man went to Hades, and the poor, ma the poor man went to heaven, and then the rich man says, Father Abraham sent Lazarus. So in other words, he's speaking, but he has no physical anything. He remembers Lazarus. He's got memories, but he's got no brain. He recognizes Abraham. They have a discussion. He asks for water. We know the whole story. In other words, he's operating as though he's got a fully functioning brain that holds memories. That scripture alone proves that the, the supremacy of the mind over the brain, because all the memories that he had, everything that about his life was still there, even though he didn't so have a physical on, body. On, on earth, in this physical body, does the brain house the mind? Yes, it's the substrate through which the mind moves. So it's it's a responder to the mind. But what controls the mind, not the brain? You're we, saying the mind controls. But the mind is not a, if the mind is you. See, it's the you-ness. It's the it's the, the perfectly you. It's your it's God made you spirit. Now we're body. getting into the spiritual side of it. Yes. So, so it's the, the it's the you-ness, and there's a connection between because the soul, which is the mind, is in, has one foot in the door of the spirit of man, and one foot in the door of the physical. This, this is a very important thing. The mind is different than the brain. Totally. The the mind is spiritual essence. What what about yeah. the difference between the spirit and the and the and the mind? Well, the spirit is the is, mind is this. I would is well, synonymous the, the, with the soul. Yes, the the mind is soul. So okay. the mind is, and that's where we're doing our intellectualizing. Yes, I understand that. Okay, so you got that well. So intellect, will, and emotion. So being able to think things through, our intellectual ability, our ability to choose, our ability to feel, that's housed in the soul. The spirit man then is our intuition, our conscience, and our worship. Our communion with God. So basically what we found, what the research that I've done is looking at what is mind? How does mind work? How does it connect into the spiritual part of us? How does it impact on the physical? And how when your mind, where your mind goes, your brain follows. You see? So where your mind goes, your brain follows. So the mind, when God talks about a love power and a sound mind, he's, they didn't give us a spirit of fear. He gave us a spirit of love, power, and soundness, the Timothy scripture. Basically what we're looking at there is the, the fact that the mind can actually be split and broken up into two elements, a non-conscious and a conscious. And the non-conscious mind is literally operating 24 hours a day at hugely fast speeds and where all our memories that have, be, be, have been building since conception are stored and where we constantly build, you're constantly building memories. And this is in the non-conscious part of you which connects into the spiritual part of man. The conscious part of your mind is what's operating when you're awake. So at the moment now, your non-conscious is operating and your conscious. And as you ask me questions or as you think of things, that is stuff from your non-conscious mind moving to your conscious mind, influencing your conscious cognitive decision. So at any one moment, like right now, you're listening to me, so there's words coming in, there's visual stimulation, there's stuff coming, that's, so there's stuff coming in. There's stuff coming up from your non-conscious mind and it all meets in the in the conscious mind. And how you intellectualize and make choices is very much based on what you've implanted through your non-conscious mind into the spiritual part okay, of so who you are. Let's talk about the practical. All of us have a unique set of um, emotions and thoughts and intellect and uh, some, all of us respond to stress differently, exactly. um, adversity differently and so mm -hmm. on. How is that? Shaped. Okay, so if we look at in it from, terms of our mind. if we keep around spirits or body, and we start with brain being part of body, what we see in the brain is the law of diversity. So, in other words, there's nothing. If, although we all have the, you can, we all have the same basic brain structures and the neurophysiology, etc. But the way that the neurons actually um, have the little structures for memory on top of them. So, a neuron looks like a tree. It looks literally like this plant. And as I said, you think, as you're listening to me now, your mind generates a signal that causes genetic expression, which makes proteins and the proteins group together and basically build trees. And those trees hold the information that you are hearing. The signals that we generate with our mind are also influencing all of our other genetic expression so that we are alive. So every single, you having, you've got genetic expression going on all day long, but it has to be driven. So it's driven by your mind. So the mind creates this, 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 this literal energy. Now energy is, um, is the source of, it's, it's the source of everything and God is the source of energy. So basically the spirit of life is basically manifesting through us in a unique way. So God made us all unique. We know the Bible says that we are, says that we are uniquely made. Unique means standalone. So we see the uniqueness that God 
created in the spirit man playing out in how we individually each uniquely use our own minds. So our mind is a result of the way that God created us, who, yes. who we are. Yes. But it's also been influenced by input from years and years, right? Well, it does, because your, your, your mind is created, we're creating God's image, so we can be created perfect in God's image, and then we make decisions, and we wire stuff in. So every decision you make, every reaction, as you open your eyes in the morning, you, you're reacting to life, and all of that becomes wired into your brain. And then whatever you wire in becomes these, these thoughts that are physical, thoughts are physical things. So you build thoughts with your mind, and then from the thoughts we speak. So for example, I'm speaking now from information that I have built into my mind over years of training. So the thought is the, is the root that we build in. So our mind builds thoughts. We then speak and do from our thoughts. And those thoughts can constantly be changed. So well, let's talk about change. We only have a couple minutes left. Well, we have to have you back because we just scratched the surface. <laughs> we really did. <laughs> but uh, everybody watching has things they want to change. Yes. I'm thinking right now about things I want to change in my thinking. Mm -hmm. How do we begin that process? Well, the awareness of the power of our mind is always huge because when we when we go with a worldview where it says that you're just a machine, the genetic deterministic Cartesian Newtonian worldview says that we're we're a machine, and you're controlled by genes, and you pretty much have no say, and you just it just plays out. You kind of just you know, go with the flow, which is terribly depressing because it means that there's just no hope, and if something goes wrong, you just got to live with it. That's not what God says. Fatalism. He makes exactly God says He makes all things new. We can renew our mind and bring our thoughts into captivity, and that's literally what I've been t telling us that we teach what I teach people to do you have we've, we've got to start with the premise as well that we have a love power and a sound mind which I've said a few times so we did not get given a spirit of fear but of love power and soundness so when you start with the premise and understanding <clears throat> that you have a love power 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 and sound mind that means that you have the power to change and that your normal is soundness and your normal is love and God is love and we see from research that everything about the human brain is wired for love so there's nothing in us for anything toxic or anything negative so that's the first start point and then then we need to the second thing is to take responsibility so you've got to know who you are which is the love stuff and then you've got to realize that power and power means i have responsibility we've got to stop i got to stop you we have to have you back we're out of time next time <laughs> uh dr leaf uh has written a book switch on your brain and uh has given us a plan in 21 days to actually detox our brain. I really want to encourage you to get the book Switch on Your Brain. She'll be back tomorrow to share more insight uh, and uh, we'll tell you how to get the book in just a moment. I really encourage you to get it. Switch on Your Brain. Today can be the first day of the rest of your life. You don't have to live in bondage any longer. God has fearfully and wonderfully created you and you can change by changing your thinking. Before we leave, I want to remind you, as I always do, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The Bible says they shall prosper that love thee. And Israel and the Middle East needs our prayers now more than ever before. Until next time, I'm Jonathan Bernis saying shalom and God bless you. Are you one of the millions of people who struggle with anxiety, weight gain, negative thoughts, high blood pressure? Now relief can be yours. Thanks to Dr. Caroline Leaf's groundbreaking book, Switch on Your Brain. Leaf is a renowned doctor whose research into neuroscience uncovered a secret that can lead you to live a happier, healthy life. You control your biology, your biology doesn't control you. Toxic thoughts can make you sick, but Switch on Your Brain will help you turn off those harmful thoughts today. The easy-to-follow 21-day plan guides you on a path to better living by combining science and scripture. Learn how to harness the power God put inside your brain and activate your body's own natural chemicals and hormones to renew your vim and vigor. God wants you to get your health back. Order Switch on Your Brain today. And when you do, we'll sow a special gift into your life, confessing the Hebrew Scriptures, The Lord is Peace by Rabbi Jonathan Bernis. This book combines powerful peace scriptures and serene photographs to put you into a deep and restful place with God. Each scripture is written in English, Hebrew, and the transliteration from Hebrew. A CD including scriptures spoken in Hebrew enables you to learn correct pronunciation so you can confess the scriptures in Hebrew yourself. Shalom.
We will send you these two gifts for your donation of $40 or more. But your donation doesn't just get you two great resources to improve your life. Your donation enables Jewish Voice Ministries to help Jewish people in need around the world, like these Holocaust survivors in Israel and needy Jewish communities in Africa. Your donation helps us provide crucial medical, dental, and eye care to Jewish communities worldwide who suffer from poverty, disease, and despair. And most importantly, when you support Jewish Voice Ministries, you play an important role in fulfilling scripture, telling the Jewish people that their Messiah has come. Our outreaches to Jews in Argentina and the Ukraine have attracted thousands of Jews and their neighbors who heard the gospel for the very first time. They learned that Jesus is the Messiah their Hebrew ancestors had foretold in scripture because you gave. But there is so much more to do. Won't you help us? Remember, God said he will bless those who bless the Jewish people. Your gift of any amount will bless the Jewish people, but your gift of $40 or more will provide two great resources that can bless you, mind and body. Call the number on your screen now to partner with Jewish Voice. You can also click or write with your gift of support by going to our website, jvmi.tv, or writing to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. Please specify offer 1326 when giving $40 or more to receive your gifts. Call, click, or write today. It's time to detox your brain. The incredibly simple way to strengthen your mind and achieve what God intended for you. Next time on Jewish Voice with Jonathan Burnus. Join Jewish Voice Ministries as we tour the Holy Land and celebrate Israel 2017. It's time to honor the 50-year anniversaries of Jewish Voice and the liberation of Jerusalem. On this trip, you'll stay in five-star accommodations as we tour Mount Carmel, Nazareth, Jerusalem, the Mount of Olives, Upper Room, and more. You'll see Jonathan Burnus commemorate the recapture of Jerusalem right where it happened. We'll also visit an Israeli military base and enjoy a Bedouin meal. You can renew your marriage vows on the Sea of Galilee and participate in an immersion ceremony at the Jordan River. As an added bonus, you can even visit Eilat, the Red Sea, and world-famous Petra. Act now before this once-in-a-lifetime event sells out. Call and speak with our events coordinator to learn more exciting details about Celebrate Israel 2017 or visit jvmi.org slash Israel. Please welcome to Jewish Voice the Christian Joni Mitchell, singer and songwriter Kira Goldman. Coming up fast, coming up, coming up fast, coming up, coming up fast. Mm -hmm. 